Wow. Fucking teleporting demon cow. But no, um... No, so really... It, it all boils down to Steam. I can... You, I might be able to arrange things on Steam. I mean, I might be able to find some time to game. I'm always signed off of the messengers, but, um... You can find me on there as under Estvan82. If you message me on, you know, the forums or something, I'd probably get back to you to let you know that I, you know, I'm not ignoring you. Unless, of course, I am, and I'm not going to say I am. Because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. But some days I'm just too busy to actually get back or respond to anything. I'm going to make a sword. Uh, an iron sword. But, um, yeah. There's a lot of factors in my life that kind of hamper my ability to interact with people, and I wish they didn't. I'm gonna kill some cows and maybe get some armor. Or actually, I should save the leather in case I want to end up making books or something. Alright, I'm gonna... I should probably find somewhere to stay for the night. I mean, in theory, if I can get to the roof of this thing... It might be a decent place, and I definitely need to kill that spawner. I don't know why I ran around the corner. Goddamn spider spawners. Uh. Come on, kill it. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, this. Um, that didn't work either. Come on, die. But yeah, I mean, uh, if you... Uh, if you try and talk to me, we'll try and interact with you. I mean, I'm not like, just go to hell. I don't have time for you. I do actually like talking and meeting, uh, talking to and meeting people. But, you know, like I said, it's a little limited. Anyway, uh, I'm, you know, serious time's over. I'm trying to think of uh, some interesting things to tell. Well, I'll tell you, um, my brother Rob, as some of you know, some of you don't. I uh, just got back from Orlando where he got to cover a press event for the new opening of the Universal Studios Transformers ride. Very excited about that. Got to meet some people he's known for a time. Uh, and uh, back to my drinking, the ha uh, drinking out of Bumblebee's head. Uh, they actually had a bunch of freebies, which they tend to do for... Ooh. Food, bucket, string, and pants. Now, they always have a couple freebies they give away for the pe uh, for the press. And uh, one of the things they gave him was a large cup. Like a m whoop, mug shaped like Bumblebee's head. And this thing is magnificent to me. Because I'm a coffee drinker. Oh boy, am I a coffee drinker. And uh, Bumblebee's head is gigantic. And I'm going to take another sip of coffee. It holds roughly a little more than half of a pot of coffee. And I I appreciate this. I appreciate this a whole bunch. But no, that was apparently uh, funny. Eventually, once I have the link, or can figure out the links for stories or whatever, I'll probably mention where you can find them on, uh, on here. But also, I'll, you know... While I'm here, might as well plug, uh, for those of you who are interested in Transformers, they have a radio, well, a podcast they're on called, uh, Radio Free Cybertron, among other things. But, uh, definitely a bunch of entertaining guys. If you're really into the movies, if you're really into the cartoon shows, if you're really into the toys, check it out. You'll probably enjoy it. They're hilarious. As if you watched any of the videos with, you know, my brother, you'll see they're all pro they're all pretty good quick-witted but now if you're not into transformers eh, it probably just won't be your thing i'm not gonna lie i used to be heavily into it i'm not as much anymore what i really like is the toys as strange as it sounds i like that from a their mechanical and neat point of view because i like why did i take down the walls now i'm stuck in here now i like nifty things that you know i can take apart and look at or you know at least study hard and figure out how they work. That was one of my, you know... I don't want to use the word fetishes because people are going to think that's an entirely different meaning than what I mean. But, you know, 
a thing of interest or significance is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyway, once I'm done cooking those, I'll probably make, um, cat food. No, I'll probably make something. Anyway, but yeah, they gave him that. They gave him, uh, a couple other things. There's actually specifically a transformer that you can only get at the park, which he bought. It was very neat. Um, you can only get it at the Universal Studios Park, or online through their store, apparently, but, you know, they don't sell it anywhere else. Alright, but, um, yeah, that's what he did, and the problem there is, of course, you know, normally when I record, he takes up the slack for me with, you know, taking care of a family member, so, for, like, the couple days he was gone, I did not get a chance to record at all. So, right now, I'm kind of rushing to record stuff. Because I am out of everything, and I have not been putting up enough stuff the last couple days. Um, but then again, it's the weekend, and I usually try and take a break on the weekend, because... As much as I do do this for fun, I don't want to do it every night. I, I, I know, I just don't want to do it every day of the week. Sometimes I like just being able to sit back, and you know, I've actually had a few people give me bullshit over that. Like, you say you're a professional YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. You know you're making money off of my views. Like, no, I'm not. And I do monetize the Minecraft videos, but trust me. Trust me, I'm not making money off of your views. Too many people have shit like Adblock these days. I'm not... I, I, I have never drawn an income from these. And I have the sneaking suspicion I may never. But, you know. Uh, that was a pipe dream for like, maybe I can make a couple bucks to play, pay for more video games I can record. No. At the same time, I've had people offer me, like, games and such on Steam. And I've actually taken a couple people off oh, when it's a game I really want to review, but... If it's not, then I just kind of feel bad about it, because it's like, well, you know, I, I don't want to take something and, you know, just like, yeah, thanks, then ignore them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if it's something really, you know, that I want to play or review, I'll, I'll, I'll accept it, and it's very kind, and I make sure to, you know, grovel appropriately. But... I, um, I generally just enjoy myself. I, I find it to be, well, as stupid as it sounds, I find enjoying myself to be enjoyable. Now, what the hell is I going to make? Ah, uh, shovel. I'll make a shovel. I could actually use one. Ah, fuck. There's Endermen around here somewhere. I can hear them fucking snorfling. That's what we decided the Endermen noise was at one point. It is snorfling. That. Yeah, that. That's a snorfle. Ah, oh, there's a fucker. Why is he upset? I haven't looked at him. He's just angry. Why is he so full of rage? Ah, oh, fuck. They're all angry, aren't they? Maybe. It kind of looks like it. Oh, I wish I had a bucket of water. Okay. Done with that now. I'll just... I don't think he actually is enraged at me, so I should be fine. Now, what was I going to do? Oh. I've still got to cook. Uh, let me cook these. Because I could use some coal. I could also make a bed and probably sleep up here. But there's no point in not working through the night to get materials. I need to put in that mod that makes time pass appropriately. But, um... I'm trying to think. I do end up talking a lot of stories. So, with everyone apparent Or, people apparently appreciate the weird little stories I tell, and I'm glad. Because I'm never sure if what I'm talking about is amusing or not. I try to be. Generally, apparently, in real life, I'm considered to be a fairly funny guy. I'm glad. I like it when people are happy. It is one of my major, you know, things that I enjoy seeing. 
Because, you know, people smiling means that everyone is, well, it means that people are friendly. Not always, but, you know, that's just my viewpoint, is if people, if you can get a person to smile, you can avoid any situation. So, as someone who has been in a whole lot of, you know, street fights in the past, I don't know, I don't. That when people hear my voice and I say I've been in a lot of street fights, what they tend to hear is, you got beat up a lot, but that's not actually the case. As I've mentioned before many times, I was, um, I studied, uh, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu and Muay Thai kickboxing for, like, seven or so years. Oh, I'm not a pushover. I don't like violence, actually. That's one of the things I actually took away from it. But, um, because I'm very, very good at it, and I don't want to be. Like, I don't actually like hurting people at all, as, you know, stupid as that sounds for someone who actually... You know, kickboxed in kickboxing tournaments, I don't like being violent. Of course, I was also underage at the time, and that's no, not totally legal. Uh, we'll not mention that. Um, but yeah, I, um, no, I, yeah, I've been in a lot of street fights, and I prefer to end them with both sides laughing and walking away. Which is the best way to end any type of argument, if you ask me. And that's the best way to end any type of minor altercation. Or, you know, even like an argument with your loved ones, where both parties are laughing. Ow. That hurt. Now, when both parties are laughing, that means no one is, uh... Or of course, real laughing. It's important to learn the difference between real laughing and I'm waiting for this motherfucker to turn around so that I can, you know try and kick him in the spine or something. Which is dumb. What you aim for is the back of the knees, because if you damage someone's spine, you'll go to jail. But, uh...